What about if we have a number that has a lot of zeros in it? All right, and if you look at that, you might think, yes, that is going to be a problem because when I go to do some borrowing, there will be nothing there. If we have a look at this, 3,004 take away 979. Obviously, we can do that because 979 is obviously less than 3,004, so we know it can be done. Now, it's really tempting to do the upside down thing because you've got nothing there. It's all zero. But we can't do that because Sir Isaac Newton will freak out. We've got to go down. So we're going to go down again. To help us, let's make the number. We're going to make 3,004. So here we go. I'll make the 3,000. There's 3,000. The camera lens isn't actually big enough. You'll just have to take my word for it. There's 3,000 of these things right there. 3,000 and four. Looks like this. That's it. It's got that. This huge mass here and these four little ones here. Let's put in the place value chart. The place value chart helps us to be neat and have all our columns lined neatly up, which is what we want. So we have the units, the tens, the hundreds, and the big thousands. 3,004. So we're going to go do our trading, borrowing, carrying, decomposition, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do that now. All right, so let's have a look. Four take away nine. Well, we can't do that. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to the tens column, but there's nothing there. What do you do? Well, you basically keep going up the line until you find something to borrow. And if you have a look at one of the other Channel Glenwood videos, there's a little performance which illustrates that, but we're just going to deal with the, the straight out trading now. We're going to go to the thousands column. So what we're going to do is we're going to move one of these thousands into the hundreds. So here's me doing that. Ugh. There's one stack of thousands that are now in the hundreds column. So I have moved that in there. What have I got left in here? Well, you got this and you got this. You got two thousands. I took one of these thousands away and I put it into the hundreds column. So that's what I've got to reflect in my written work. I've taken one of these away and now I don't have three stacks of thousands in the thousands. I've only got two stacks of thousands in the thousands column. Now I've got this pile in the hundreds column. Now this is, this is a key thing. I wasn't allowed to, and I'm not allowed to move this straight from here over to here. This is where I want to get it, but I can't just go whoosh straight over there. I've got to go one column at a time. So now I've got this pile of stuff in the hundreds column. Now, since this has now got ten hundreds in the hundreds column, I've got ten of these now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten. Now I've got ten in this column now. Now I can borrow. I'm going to borrow one of these and move it into the tens column. Notice how I was not allowed to go straight across into the units column. I've got to go one column at a time. From here to here, then borrow. From here to here, then borrow. Okay, so I don't have 10 anymore. I just took one away. I just borrowed. So I'm going to cross this off and now I don't have 10 anymore. What do I have? I have 9. I might just stack them up so it doesn't look like 90. I've only got 9 left now. I took one away from here and I put it into this column. Now I've got 10 of them. Through the magic of video I will change this into 10 singles. Shazam! Bling! And there they are. They're now 10 individual ones. Now because these are now break upable, right, I've got these, I've got 10 in the tens column now. Now I can borrow from here. I was able to borrow from here. I am able to borrow from here and I can put this into the units column. Now I don't have 10 in the tens column anymore. I cross it out. How many do I have in the tens column? Can you say the number before I put the number down? Hopefully you said nine, and nine would be correct. I've only got nine of these in here now because I borrowed and put them into the tens column. And of course, through the magic of video, I can turn this one solid ten into ten little ones. Shazam! And now the solid ten is ten ones. 
and I reflect that here. I don't have 4 anymore. I brought a 10 over here and 10 plus 4 is 14. And I've changed this so that I can do it. Notice I did all the changing first. When it comes with these, comes to the numbers with the zeros, you do all the changing first and then you can finish off the answer right at the end. So now we're going to do it. 14 take away 9. So we've got 14 here, we're going to take away 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 14 take away 9 is what? What's left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is left. So that's done. Now I've got 9 take away 7. So there's the 9. Let's take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've done 9 take away 7. What have I got left? 1, 2. 9 take away 7 is 2. So I can put that 2 down here. What's over here now? You've got 9 take away 9. Well, how easy is that? 9 take away 9 is nothing. So I can put that 0 down there. 9 take away 9 is 0. And 2 take away nothing. Well, I've just got my 2. I'm not taking anything away from it. So the 2 remains. And there's my answer. 2,025. This is the thing to remember, when you get these numbers with all the zeros, all these zeros in the middle turn into these nines, so that's how you can keep track. That might have been a lot to take in, so play this video again. Uh, once you really get the idea, uh, you could make yourself some cut out ones of these, you know, just, it's just a centimetre each. Cut them out, uh, you'll probably find something like this on the internet to, um, to download and cut out and you can practice yourself and your school will have them and if you need this stuff to work out your subtraction the teacher can provide it to you. Once you grow, outgrow the need for this stuff try the numbers only version and there's a Channel Glenwood video for the numbers only version too. Well, thanks for listening.